on palliative and those that are profiteering from it. We have someone on the phone via Skype, I beg your pardon, the managing partner of FIT Consult Limited, Lorieta Anyogulu. Thank you very much for joining us. Oh, thank you. Good morning. Could you please summarize for us what happened to you? Um, well, I had gone to purchase um, some face masks at uh, Health Plus, the pharmacy chain called Health Plus. And on reaching there, I um, realized that uh, the face masks, you know, there are two types. You have the uh, N95, which is the one the uh, medical experts use, and also the surgical mask, which is a regular um, surgical mask that surgeons use to, to um, operate on people. And I decided to get the um, N95 as well as the regular surgical mask. Normally, those surgical masks are about 2,500 or 3,000 or something like that. But they were being sold for about uh, 18,000. And the N95, which is a 3M product, was being sold for 36,000 for 20 pieces. Well, I did buy the face mask and also the N95. But when I got back home, I discovered that the N95, which is a 3M product, um, was actually, well, either it was fake or it, was, it had been used or it had expired. Um, looking at, of course, the expiration date, it, it hadn't expired. So it meant that it, it was either fake or it had been used. And how do you find out when it's used? You know, the... Um, N95 has a metal bar on the outside, and under that metal bar is a protective foam, which is supposed to cushion your nose from the pressure of the metal bar. And so that cushion underneath was now very dark and peeling, in which case, if you put it on, you'd be breathing in the, these um, little fragments of the depleted um, cushion. So I took it back to Health Plus, to let them know that um, this product was defective. And they took it from me and I asked for a refund. And I also asked that they pull the uh, items from all their stores. But anyways, of course, this was a local store here in Enugu. So I waited. They said they were going to report to their head office. Um, of course, they immediately processed my refund. And then they called me for the, from the head office to assure me that... Um, the next day that they were pulling the product and also that they were checking in with their suppliers to find out what had happened. Um, that's in a nutshell what happened. I was certainly very impressed um, that Health Plus immediately swung into action. And truly, when I went to the store, they had pulled the N95 masks from all their stores in, in Nigeria, apparently. And this particular store, also, the N95 was no longer there. So that's what transpired. So I was very pleased that they had self-policed themselves to um, take this item off, which, of course, meant reinforcing my confidence that I've always had in the retail chain. Okay, what deductions have you made about the issues this raises? Because if our responsible um, outfit would become a victim of someone trying to profit here, where does that leave the rest of us? It's a very dangerous thing that is happening. Um, and I'm sure that if it happened with face masks, which is an essential product for people to protect themselves from this virus, you can imagine what has, is happening in all the other um, areas. Um, what I did off, first of all, is that um, the person or the persons who perpetuate acts like this are, first of all, very stupid. Because when you think of it, if you profiteer and you make the money, and everybody else is, 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 a lot of people, of course, cannot afford the masks at the current prices. So what it means is that a lot of people will not be able to wear those masks. The implication is that we're all exposed, including the person who's profiteering from selling the masks, which means that person can actually catch this infection and die from it. And so in, in other climes where people are giving out these masks free of charge, you have people adding so much profit that the average person can't afford it. So where is the sense in all this? You make all that money, you get ill from a disease that has no cure, and chances are that you might not survive it. Um, so that's first, first of, of it. The second part of it is that 
you realize also that um, a lot of regulatory bodies that are supposed to be checking items like this, particularly pharmaceuticals, are probably not doing their job the way they're supposed to do it. Because when you think of it, how did such a large quantity of product defective one packet after another? Because at the store, they opened about two or three others and they had the same situation, which meant that the entire stock supplied to this pharmacy chain was defective. These products have come through our ports or through our airports and nobody checked and nobody detected it. And it's now all over the market. What is wrong? What in our process of detecting defective products, what is wrong in that process? Something is wrong in the system because it should have been detected before it even got to the pharmacy. The third thing is that it also shows that for corporate responsibility, that a lot of responsibility is upon the corporation. Because imagine if Health Plus was not a responsible organization that immediately self-checked themselves and said, no, we cannot sell this to our customers. It would, if it was any of the other regular ones, they would have left it. They'll give me back my money and say, okay, this is just one customer, hoping other customers don't detect it. And then imagine what could happen to these customers wearing and inhaling these fragments that are not supposed to be going into your body. And then it goes into your body and causes a new kind of problem. So it, you also realize that a lot of companies in this country, if they don't take the responsibility themselves to self-police themselves, they face or we all face the risk that nobody is looking out for the consumer. When you talk about self-policing, um, do you expect to see the end of this matter? People being punished for bringing this um, into the country? I mean, uh, by the uh, organization Health Plus that you mentioned. Um, are you expecting them to get back to you on punitive measures and, and end to the investigation that they are currently carrying out? Or are you okay with the fact that they've pulled these products away from the shelves? Well, certainly, I'm sure people who know me know that I am going to follow this all the way to the end because it's not just about myself. Um, as you can see, I've gone back, gotten my refund, and I don't have to use it because I'm aware. But it's also, we all have the responsibility to one another. For those of us who recognize certain things and who understand what is going on in the world, it is our responsibility to protect other citizens. And they have promised on their own. They actually called to say, we are following up our supplier Within the next 48 hours, we will get back to you to let you know what has transpired because they need to find out from the supplier what exactly went wrong, where did this come from, and so on and so forth. And I think I am going, I, it is important that they do that because I am definitely going to follow this to a logical end. Because if it's mass today, it could be antibiotics tomorrow, it could be so many other things. So when you, when you follow these sorts of things through and people get prosecuted, um, others will learn a lesson that this is wrong and this will not be accepted. And even if you don't have the conscience not to do this to your fellow citizens, that the law will catch up with you and you might end up serving time for doing this to other people. All right, I would say thank you very much for joining us on the news and we do look forward to a conclusion. Thank you very much. I'll certainly keep you posted. All right, please stay safe.